operations of smart color thermostats here that operates off of Wi-Fi. And you can control your air conditioner from anywhere in the world using one of these. So today we're going to show you all about these, how to install it. I'm going to show you all about the caveats, the scams, what the manufacturers fail to warn you about before you even buy one of these things. And we're going to show you whether it's right for your setup. And we're going to show you how to set it up and how to control it and everything. And it all starts right now. So you are looking here at the Honeywell RTH9585WF. This is a smart thermostat. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to show you all about this. Now basically when you go to buy thermostats there's two different types of thermostats. There's one type that operates off of batteries, maybe a 9 volt, maybe a few of the, uh, the, the AA batteries there. Okay, this type here operates from power given directly from the air conditioner. So that's the difference there is this, you'll never have to worry about your batteries dying. And if I have the choice of which one to buy, I will tell you guys 100% of the time, every single time, make sure you always buy the one that has the wires on it because we have gotten in so many fights, heated fights, get it, heated? Heated fights with my wife over the previous thermostats that we've had. She would keep coming up and yelling at me, those batteries are dead, you gotta change the batteries. And you go and change the battery and it turns out there was nothing wrong, it didn't get affected. But normally what happens is when those batteries get low is your thermostats will go haywire and they'll start doing weird things and it won't turn the AC on when it's supposed to. But if you get this kind that's hardwired directly to your air conditioner through the five wire interface, then you'll never have a problem at all. The only problem is some of you may not be set up to be able to do this because if you have an older air conditioner that's only got four lines, the four different color wires, you know, the white, the red, uh, the yellow, and the green, you can't do it because you need that fifth wire there, the C wire. We call it the C wire. So if you don't have it, you're in trouble. And that's, in my opinion, the scam that a lot of these manufacturers here don't do a good enough job of telling you on the box. This should be big bold letters on here. You must have the C wire or you cannot use this. Now what I did on my air conditioning system, my system here was a four wire system also. So I theoretically would not be able to use it. But what I did was I stole the fourth wire out of there from a different part of the circuit inside my air conditioner. I was willing to do without a certain part of the heating mechanism not, not being able to be controlled as much as normal. That's no problem because here in South Florida we use our heater twice a year. We can still use it. We just won't have as much control over it. Not a problem here, okay? And there are other videos you can go look at on YouTube on how to convert your four wire air conditioner to five wire. And you have to really know what you're doing there and you have to understand what it is you're taking away in order to make that C wire work for you to be able to support these newer systems that need the hardwired power directly from the air conditioner. All right, so here it is on the display here at Home Depot and here's your price see. But here's what most people aren't gonna see. They're not gonna see that little warning right there. See how it says requires C wire for installation. So if you have like an older AC that doesn't have the five wires, then you're screwed. You absolutely have to have that C wire right there. That's the dirty little secret that a lot of people don't realize when they end up buying these things and they get stoinked. So this has always been my complaint about all these manufacturers here. You look on the back of the box, there's all this fine print. Who, when they're standing in the store, is going to be standing in there and see on here this tiny little section right down here. So you see right here where my finger's pointing, it's telling us two different warnings here. It says it does not work with electric baseboard heat. Okay, and that's not a big problem for most people. But right here, it says it requires 24 volts AC power C wire. Okay, so in teeny tiny fine print, that's not really telling you much. I mean, you can say, okay, yeah, I need to use the C wire. Most people don't know what that means. So that's telling you this thing will not work unless you have that C wire. Okay, so we had a mishap with our other thermostat, but one of the other reasons we're getting this one is to upgrade to a newer generation. And this one here also has local weather and temperature right on the thermostat here. So at the touch of a button, you can get your local weather for the next few days. Also, this particular Honeywell thermostat here, you can custom set which color you want for the background. I like the blue one at night, it looks really cool. 
Okay, so the way that this Honeywell smart thermostat works is, you can see here, they tell you here, it's got Wi-Fi connectivity. So it connects up to Wi-Fi, so this will connect up to the Wi-Fi in your house. So what makes this really cool is if you have the app on your phone or on your iPad, you can be at a home motel a thousand miles away, ready to take an airplane back home. And all you do is get on your, and through the app, you can reach your thermostat and tell your thermostat to turn on and have the air conditioner on when you get home. And it'll be all ready to go. And you can also schedule things your way. It's got some intelligent alerts. And I like the big numbers on the display too. Don't ever buy any more of those LCD liquid crystal display thermostats. Those things are horrible. They were always difficult to see the letters on there. The backlights on those things stink. Some of those LCD displays are nearly impossible to read. This thing is much, much better. And it's touchscreen as well. So you open it up, there's your thermostat sitting right here. And on the, it just kind of falls right out there. That's what it looks like. And remember, this does not take batteries. This is a plug-in power. It gets its power from the air conditioning unit itself through here. And here's the back plate that, it, that comes with it here, see? So this mounts flat against the wall, and then this snaps onto it, okay? And then your five wire comes through here, through the hole in the wall, and comes right in through the back here. They give you an ID card here. This is your thermostat ID card. This is what you need in order to uh, register it onto the online system so that you can get your thermostat to log on through the Wi-Fi and be able to get controlled. These are all the little stickers that they give you to identify your wires because you're, you really want to put these on your wires before you unplug it off the old one so you know what went where. And you should also take a picture too. So we'll show you all about that when we go to change the wires. And it tells you here all about the C wire and options on what to do if you don't have the C wire and how to alternately use the G wire if you don't have the C wire there. Uh, because remember the C wire is what you really need here to give this thing the constant power. See, this is what I think is the joke here. Because here when you open up the installation guys where it says in big bold red letters here, important, this thermostat requires a C or a common wire to power. If you are replacing an existing thermostat, it might not have a C wire connected to it. If you don't see a C wire, try one of these other options, blah, blah, blah. So that's what they don't do a good enough job of telling you on the outside of the box. Pack it all back in there and let's take it inside and we'll show you how to hook it up. place so you can see it actually got dropped a few times and you can see the cracks right there on the glass so this no longer responds to the touch but luckily it still works with the Wi-Fi we can still operate it through the apps on the phones and on the iPad so we're just going to pop the old, old one off here and it just comes off like this don't forget now you got to get a picture of it so that you know where all the wires went. You don't want to forget where anything went. Okay, now in the box they give you these stickers here and you're supposed to peel the stickers off and put them on each wire as you remove the wire so you know exactly where it goes. So, for example, this green wire here that goes to the C, we're going to peel a C sticker off of here and stick it on that green wire when we take it off. We're going to grab the wire here with our needle nose pliers here and start pulling on it as we push down on the release. So now the wire comes out. Now luckily you can see when they originally wire this, they, they try to keep certain things standard. Like I usually try to keep the, the white wire as the W, so W for white. And likewise the red wire I try to keep for the R. So those are two things that I always try to make sure I do. going to is going to Y. And I guarantee you labeling these is the best way to do it because I'm guaranteeing you you will forget. With all of these different connections and where it goes, you'll forget. Okay now we'll remove the green C wire. the C 
Seymour label. And there's all four of our labeled wires. Now remember, if you were using a five wire system made with 18-5 wiring here, you would have one additional wire here with another sticker on it. Now something else I wanted to call your attention to here, I wanted to show you that most air conditioners will have the R and the RC here jumpered with a wire here. Sometimes it might be a metal jumper on your board or some other form of jumper, but either way, they're usually shorted together. Very gently feed the wires through. Don't let the labels come off. Very gently. Don't force them. Just let them go through on their own accord. And there you are. Now we have enough slack coming out of the wall here. What some people do is they can wrap this wire around a pen so that the pen will straddle across the hole here and you won't lose the cable into the wall. All right, so we're going to put the new one on. And of course, since we're just replacing from the same type, the same manufacturer and everything, the back plate is pretty much the same. It looks like it's pretty much unchanged. But we always like to install the new part that came with the new unit. Make sure you level it. It should be nice and right in the center there. You don't want to mount a crooked thermostat onto the wall. Okay, so we're just reversing the steps there. So the white wire is connected there now. And the blue wire, as you recall, goes to the Y. Okay, now I've just gently moved these guys over to their side so I can get this green wire, which is the C, and connect it over here to C. Remember, this is the most important one here because this is where those 24 volts AC come in to power the thermostat here so you don't long, you no longer need to use batteries. Now finally, I'm taking the red wire here, which is R, and it's going to go right in there, all the way in. Make sure all of our wires are all the way in and making good contact, make sure they don't pull back out. So now our four wires are connected. And now we have the task of gingerly trying to of gingerly trying to get these the main wire here to go back inside the hole. See everything that's here has to fit inside there. Okay, so here you can see we had to spend a minute or so to make sure we had all those wires pushed back inside the hole better. So that way we're not clogging up that cavity space there. on there nice and tough. I always give the wall a couple of good bangs to make sure it doesn't come rattling off. That's what happened to it last time. I'm going through the setup here and we're choosing cooling and heating and we have a forced air type here. This is electric. So we only have one stage here, so we have just the Y wire was connected, as you saw in the previous step during the wiring. And we have just the W connected. We don't have a W and a W2. And here the thermostat controls the fan. So you would say yes. Yeah. So this is where you connect it to your Wi-Fi. So it'll find your connection there. And you select it. So once you enter your password, it will connect to your system. And it will say you've successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. So now you have to register your thermostat here onto the mytotalconnectcomfort.com so you can do it on your on your iPad or you can do it on your smartphone 
and of course I've got it blacked out here because it's private info but you would enter the the Mac ID there and the CRC of the thermostat so now that we've logged on to the mytotalconnectcomfort.com site you can see at the big red bar because it knows that the old thermostat it can't talk to it anymore because we have removed it so we're going to add this newer one here and that's where we enter the information that they told us to put on the screen there then after you've entered the number there it will tell you it's registering it now this is a neat little thing here because you know for security purposes they want you to verify the device so they want you to go to your device here and set it here to 69 degrees to confirm that you are indeed in control of that thermostat and we'll go and set it to 69 degrees like they told us to then we come back here and we tell it that I have I have changed the thermostat setting and then you submit okay so right there you can see we have success here and so we have completed the thermostat registration and we're gonna put it on the cool right there and it says 78 that's like the default one so we're gonna make it go down and like just put it on 71 just to see if it's star or 69 or whatever but we'll see if it'll start and then we'll hit submit now it might not happen right away especially since we just turned the power back on sometimes you'll see a five minute delay sometimes your system might have a five minute built-in delay before you'll hear it click on and then here you can see that little snowflake with that word that says cool is on there that's an indicator that tells you when it's actually blowing at the moment so that's how you know well is the air on right now is it not on you can tell at any time if it's actually running so now coming back over here to the wall unit you can see that it it already changed itself to 69 and it didn't even take long it came on almost immediately here's a couple of features i like first of all it gives you the outdoor temperature and the relative humidity outside there but if you push on that it gives you the weather forecast for probably about I don't know, next 12 hours or so and what the expected temperature is going to be so of course some of the features we like about this is the fact that uh, well it's much bigger the numbers are much easier to read if you have problems with your eyesight this is incredible and let me turn the light off in here we're, we're in the daytime but you know at night it'll be pretty dark and you can still see this it glows really nice in there now you can see here you can also create your own schedule of when the air conditioning goes on and off if you want an automated schedule you can there's the weather again and the color themes is pretty cool because you can change to the screen backgrounds to a bunch of different colors and suppose you want to change your color theme maybe you don't like that blue there you could scroll down through the whole palette here and you can even make your own custom color so let's say if you wanted to change it to red you hit it like there and that's it if you don't like that you go back to the color of blue you had before and you're done and then to get back you just hit the home button it's very easy to use it's very very intuitive so another thing that's kind of useful here too on the phone app so let's say you're a thousand miles away at a hotel room and you're trying to see well should I put the air on or anything right here there's a five-day forecast that's going to show you here what all the weather is going to be like for the next five days whether it's going to be rain thunder showers on Monday that sort of thing so, you know once you go smart you're never going to go back folks and I just wanted to remind you at this time here that if you found this video useful hey go ahead and give us a thumbs up down below huh? that helps our videos rank better and it lets us know that you like us and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet make sure you click on that subscribe button down below and the most important part is to click on that little gray bell icon otherwise YouTube will not notify you when we upload a new video so that's it for this one, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.